A lot of people are bakers that then do sculpted cakes, but instead I'm an artist who started doing sculpted cakes. Sugar, flour, eggs, all these materials, they start out as scratch ingredients. It's this really cool process. You turn them into a cake, and then you turn them into a cake sculpture, and then everybody eats it. Having that attitude and that kind of, that art background, you know, I see myself as an artist first and a baker second. Baking is absolutely artistic, so they really go hand in hand. It's really great to do both. Before I start a cake, I gather as many images as possible of, in this case, a T-Rex. So I'm looking up toys and models. I'm looking up, you know, dinosaurs and movies. So I gather all that information and then I come up with my design and how I want the dinosaur to kind of feel. So here we have the unpainted T-Rex. This is all covered in chocolate. There is a cake board that comes right through here. And this back leg actually has that rod that is holding that cake board up. Connected to the cake board, is a wire that is going to go through for his tail and then come through to the head. All right. While I was at Ohio State, um, my concentration was in drawing and painting. So it's funny because everybody always assumes it was sculpting. Uh, and I did do a lot of sculpting, but I mostly was doing painting. And I'm so happy I did because I think that's really what kind of I want to say like brings them to life. You have to learn how to use a material. Somebody can't just be like, this is how you do it. It's not that easy. You have to kind of get your hands on it and work with it. And I think that my education at Ohio State was just absolutely necessary and absolutely influences how I work with cake today and why I've had some success, successful moments. <laughs> The idea that cake throughout history has always been a way for people to celebrate. Everybody gathers around, you get a giant group of people together. I think it's so crazy that a cake can represent so much. It represents a birthday or a wedding. And I get to, you know, create these sculptures out of cake so that they can celebrate their moments in their lives. Sometimes when I drop cakes off, you know, people cry. They're just so emotional about what's going on. They're so happy with the design and the cake that they just get they just get a little emotional. The next thing you know, you know, is your son graduating? Oh, they see the cake and they cry, you know? And that is just like something that I never realized, you know, I would impact people in that way. I'm so happy to do it. <laughs>